from Seattle, Washington, extracting the signal from the noise. It's the Cube on the ground at OpenStack Day Seattle 2015. Now, here's your host, Jeff Frick. Hi, Jeff Rick here with theCUBE. We are on the ground in Seattle, Washington at the OpenStack Innovation Day. It's their first kind of dedicated OpenStack event just in Seattle. We were at OpenStack Summit in Vancouver a few weeks ago. We at, we'll be at OpenStack Silicon Valley next week in Mountain View. So it's a lot of OpenStack going on all the time and really excited to be joined in this next segment by our guest, Sean Roberts, VP Development, Aconda. Welcome. Hi, thanks. So for people that aren't familiar with Aconda, why don't you give them the, uh, the kind of the 411, what you guys do? Right, uh, we're an OpenStack project. Uh, we're open source. Um, we're uh, creating, uh, well, we're making Neutron work all the way through. So we manage the life cycle of Neutron. That's so, what we do, which is uh, OpenStack networking for, for those, those, yeah. those <laughs> in the crowd. <laughs> so what hasn't worked about Neutron and what are you doing that's different that makes it work? I feel like I should do sure. air quotes maybe, but I won't. Yeah, <laughs> don't do air quotes. Um, <laughs> So uh, what we do is uh, we, we uh, distribute the networking functionality in, um, that uh, Neutron manages, and we make it so that the, the state of the, the configuration of that is managed by a central service. Um, right now, when you implement Neutron, it's, um, it's a manual implementation. And once you're done, it's day zero done, and day one, maybe not so good if somebody goes in and makes a change. So we manage the life cycle All of right. that. So. Okay, so let's, Sean, let's dive into it a little bit more. Um, specifically, you know, we're talking a little bit off camera. Does your uh, Aconda help people avoid things that you know are gonna be problematic in the future? Is it really kind of stick avoidance, or do you have a nice shiny carrot? You know, there's a lot of things you can do now that you couldn't without your tool. Yeah, I think it's a little bit of both those things. So. Um, avoiding the stick is really about us um, supporting the operations of uh, OpenStack networking. So um, our service, which is uh, fronting a state machine, uh, manages the state of the routing, the network infrastructure. Um, the, so that's stick avoidance. Um, as, as far as um, uh, day one after implementation, if somebody goes in and makes a change that breaks the routing of OpenStack networking, um, the, our state machine will actually fix that. Right. Um, the, the carrot is that um, over the next um, release and into the next couple of years, we'll be adding more services. Right now we support routing, um, which is a particular network functionality. We'll be supporting more features, um, load balancing next, and then uh, VPN and firewall services in the future. Um, what that will make is the physical side of, of customers' infrastructure will be even more tightly um, integrated with their virtual, um, which is run by an OpenStack cluster. Right. And, d and do you see in your experience with your customers as, you, as they bring you guys in to help, are, are there some patterns um, that are kind of, th that people typically fall into that cause them the issues uh, that, that you've seen pretty consistently across the board that you're helping them with? So we're a spin out from DreamHost. So that just happened very recently. So our customer, uh, it's, <laughs> I can talk about the pattern of DreamHost because we have one customer. We're, we're at, uh, aggressively going after finding more customers, but we're pretty young. Okay. We're only a couple months old. Okay. So, um, but the, the whole uh, reason, much like how uh, Ceph was developed at DreamHost and spun out of DreamHost into a company was that um, DreamHost found a, a need within their own company that, um, was solved, uh, could solve other companies' needs. So they, um, Ceph was, um, uh, they made a service company called Ink Tank to uh, bring it to the world, so to speak. Um, we're doing this, we have done the same thing with Aconda. Um, we see that there's a need to r manage the life cycle of Neutron for uh, customers doing OpenStack deployments. Um, so that's why we exist. So the pattern um, is essentially that managing day one of OpenStack Neutron and networking in general is hard because there's a lot of people in operations right. and keeping it up and resilient for a long period of time is what we do. Okay, and so when did you spin out? Uh, how big are you guys? How long have you been out on your own? About six months. Okay. Um, so uh, we're doing things like uh, uh, building product roadmaps and uh, hiring and uh, doing all those things while we're adding new features. So right now we're, um, uh, creating the uh, what's called a driver model so we can add more services. Okay. Um, 
and uh, making our state machine more resilient and uh, fault tolerant. Okay. And then uh, funding. What's your funding? Can you talk about your funding status? I can. Um, it, one of the unique things about my company is that uh, we're not only is all our code open source, but we're pretty open about everything we're doing. So uh, we went through a seed round um, about, I guess it was about nine months ago, something like that, maybe a little bit less. Um, 1.5 million, um, we specifically kept it nice and tight so that we could focus on hiring people. Um, we're starting up another round where we'll be basically looking for money so that we can hire more developers. All right. Well, give a plug. So I'm sure you're looking for people. How should they find you? What are you looking for? Ah, great. So, <laughs> so we can be found on uh, conda.io um, is our main page. Um, they can re anybody can reach out to me directly either through LinkedIn. Um, I'm on IRC and Twitter as Sarob. That's S-A-R-O-B. Um, we're looking for OpenStack Python developers as well as um, OpenStack DevOps. Awesome. So. so we will look forward to an update at uh, OpenStack Summit or OpenStack Silicon Valley or OpenStack Seattle or OpenStack we'll LA. All um, <laughs> as you as you continue to grow, get the customers and, and really hear more about the stories and what you guys are bringing back from the field. So thanks for taking a few minutes. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So I'm Jeff Frick. We are in Seattle on the ground at the OpenStack Seattle Innovation Day. Thanks for watching. <laughs>